So I want to do another one of these. None of these blah. Hey, VC, Jeff here, and it is time for another episode of Jeff's CD Collection. So, yes, I did this a couple videos ago. I did through, went through the A's in like three videos or so. So I'm going to do another one of these real quick, and uh, we're going to jump into the B's, part one of the B's. But before I do that, I did find a couple more A's that I wanted to show. Um, somehow, I don't know how this one got missed. And again, the reason that this is in the A's for Axel Rudy Pell and not in the P's is because I'm pulling them out based on the organization skill of Discogs, which put uh, puts everything based on the first initial, first letter of the first name, so Axel. Anyway, um, somehow this got mixed. This would have been in there before, you know, Aztec Jade and, and Arion and all those that I showed last time. And I don't know, somehow it got misplaced and I went back and looked and saw that I did not show it. Now, actually, Rudy Pell, Euro, uh, you know, European uh, metal, power metal band has a lot, a lot, a lot of great albums. Lots and lots of great musicians have worked with him over the years. This is one of the earlier ones, 1991, uh, Nasty Reputation. This is the only one I've got because this is one that's got Rob Rock on vocals. And this is back in the days when he was, um, you know, he's usually an in Pelletary and they were kind of on a hiatus and he was just doing singing for a lot of different bands and so this is one of my favorites because I love his vocals and so it's the only one that I still own I do have some of uh, this stuff on digital but this is the only one I physically own these other ones are just I, I forgot that I was not pulling in some of the small amount of, of uh, jazz that I've got so I went ahead and grabbed some of those and this is just my acoustic alchemy some of the only bands that I've got that are starting with A's um, I love this kind of stuff. You know, it's it's uh, you know more of a modern jazz, uh, guitar driven, electronic driven, and so I remember discovering these guys. I heard them played over the air at uh, I went to a Spyro Gyra concert in New York, and I heard something by this, and I asked my friend, anybody any clue who that is? He says, and then I guess we saw that it was acoustic alchemy. I said, I like that sound, so because I was trying to get into some of the jazz and you know trying to figure out what I like, so I got that. And then some of the other ones I got, these I actually picked up in the past couple years at a thrift store. And it is just some of their other ones, actually. That first one I've had for years, but these three I've only had for probably just a couple years. All right, so that's it with the A's. Now we're going to do part one of the B's. And I'm assuming there'll be at least maybe two. I don't know if there'll be three. So we're going to jump right into them. The Band in Black. Uh, this is a... Johnny Cash type tribute band the um, a couple of the musicians in this band or you know have come from one bad pig which is a, a punk band and so they've done this stuff on the side it's great stuff in the same vein as a you know Johnny Cash style but you know just a little more modern so kind of a tribute band good stuff Banshee I actually showed this not too long ago because this is a fairly new pickup for me the vinyl came out and I got the CD at the same time and so Banshee uh, originally started off you know as a band back in the 80s they weren't really even though they kind of had that uh, you know the hair metal type look they never really were of that style and this modern stuff that they do is definitely just straightforward blistering metal and it's great stuff and I'm glad that's on vinyl same with this one uh, both of these were reissued on vinyl. This is on uh, No Life to Metal, Scott Waters' label. And so he's been putting this stuff out. You know, this and the Mind Slave is the only one I don't have on CD. Um, let's see, moving in, we got Baron Cross, one of the early pioneers of the Christian metal movement. This is their first album. This is a remastered edition by Mike Lee, the singer, came out a handful of years ago. This is one that was remixed, remastered by Ronnie Montrose, and I don't like the mixer much as much as the original. Um, this is the most recent reissue of Atomic Arena. Uh, again, the, straightforward. A lot of people compare this, you know, because Mike Lee's vocals sound similar to a Bruce Dickinson, so you know. Um, but I don't really feel like musically they're they're metal in the vein of an Iron Maiden, but I wouldn't say they're Iron Maiden clone in that sense. Live, louder than hell, hotter than hell, live. Uh, again, this is a reissue, remastered. This came out about a year or two ago. Um, Gerda Music put, I mean, Retroactive Music put out all of these uh, reissues, and it was great. This is the original. This one is a whole punch, I think. This is one of the original ones I had on Medusa Records. Rattle right Your Cage, the uh, most recent album by Baron Cross and this was even like in the 90s so they haven't done a whole lot recently um, I don't know why this one's out of order because this one came first 
And this is the, uh, again, this is a Legendary Master one that came out by Retroactive. It's got both. So the album came out, I'll show you this. This is an unopened copy of, uh, of the album. This album came out in two markets. You had the regular mainstream market, and then you had the Christian market, like Christian bookstores and stuff. And each one of them had a different bonus track. And so when they reissued it here on Retroactive, they put both of those bonus tracks. So you get both of the tracks, whereas this one just has the one because I bought that for that extra one. Bare Bones is a band that the singer from Baron Cross, Mike Lee, did after leaving Baron Cross. And it is uh, him and Kai... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name wrong. Rice. And, uh, you know, straightforward, hard rock and stuff. Got a couple dogs in there for, on, in the band. So, just some good stuff. I was buying anything that Mike Lee was doing, and uh, he was doing some side stuff. And so, all right, moving on. We've got The Beatles, my one and only CD by The Beatles. Uh, and, you know, it's the greatest hits, number one album. So, um, I think I picked this up at a thrift store or something at some point. And so. I've been trying to get the Beatles stuff on vinyl, but right now I've got this on CD. And then we got Becoming the Archetype. This is like a uh, technical death, hard metal, death metal at times. Depends on the album. This is their first album. Very, 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 very heavy, chaotic, death sounding. Um, this one's a little more, it's got a little more variety, a little more vocal stylings are not quite as heavy. Um, probably a lot of people really really like this album some people really hate this album because of the change from the first but um, I tend to like this one because I like the style that they were going with very very aggressive their third album here but um, not quite as bad as heavy as their first and different than their second anyway so um, I only have three of theirs on CD for some reason all the other stuff I have digitally and um, yeah great stuff saw them live in concert once and uh, met them after the show and everything all right, up next, Believer. I mentioned them recently because of the reissues, and I got those coming up here. Extraction from Mortality, their first album. They had released some stuff on a compilation a compilation album. They had a, a, a demo that came out, and then a compilation release, East Coast Metal and some other stuff, where the vocal styles were different. Then they came out with this album, and his vocal styles were a little more aggressive. And at first, I really didn't like it. I kind of got used to it. But um, when they, this is a bootleg album, The Chosen Live, uh, made overseas somewhere. Anyway, but then when they came out with their second and third album, his vocal style were, was a little more toned down, um, and so I, I started to like that better. I just didn't want the more aggressive style. These really need to be, you know, well, they, they've been reissued, but it'd be great to have these on vinyl again because the vinyls are hard to find. Um, Dimensions, third album there. And then this was the one, Transhuman and Gabriel were the two that just got reissued like a month ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, Bombworks Records and so remastered reissued for a new world Betrayal both of the Betrayal albums uh, again kind of uh, I don't want to say death metal these were just like heavy thrash with some aggressive vocals but not not death metal vocals just you know really aggressive thrash uh, and these were reissued a couple years ago um, The Passing and Renaissance by Death anyway uh, great great albums and they also came out on vinyl and so I do have those also now for a total different change of pace, we've got Billy Joel. This I think I picked up at a thrift store, The Bridge. Probably not my, not one of my favorite albums, and that's why I didn't buy it back at the time when I bought all the rest of these remasters. Um, you know, so Innocent Man, love that album. Nylon Curtain, you know, there's some hits on here. These are not in any kind of order. Glass Houses, absolutely my favorite. First album I think I, no, yeah, probably the first album I ever owned personally myself. My parents bought it for me. My mother bought it for me for Christmas the year it came out. Absolutely, start to finish, love this album. Know the words. This is ingrained in me. Love that album. Pretty much the same as this, Stranger. I told the story before, back in the day, we found, my friend and I used to go and dig through people's garbage. Did you know on the curb, you dig through things? We found guitar bodies, we found records, and I found the record of this back in the day, early 80s, and, you know, fell in love with it and just loved that album. So, yeah, of course, that's got all the big big ones, you know, moving out and, and all of the good die young and all that. Great album. Uh, 52nd Street, Big Shot, honestly, you know, this is the one. These are the ones. you got to have these three. These are the three that have the huge hits from the 80s that he was known for. Um, 
So I didn't spend as much time listening to some of the older ones like Turnstiles and stuff. So when they started remastering these and bringing them out, I went out and bought them all. Absolutely fell in love with the old stuff. It's different. It's not quite as hugely popular sounding because we grew up in the 80s listening to it. But absolutely love that. Um, Life Serenade. There are some songs on here that I just absolutely adore. It's just an amazing album. And you've got to have the classic Piano Man. Oh, just an amazing album also. Um, and then this one, you know, I don't... Has this Did this get reissued? Cold Spring Harbor? I mean, this is the one that's got... She's got away and... I love this album. If you haven't heard, I guess this album, when it was... Uh, recorded and then it got when it got released by the record company somehow the pitch got pitched off thrown off a little bit so the the song the album is off pitch um and i am looking to get a copy of it where they fixed that when they remastered it this is not the remaster when they remastered it i'm trying to think i don't think they ever fixed it or if they did i haven't found a copy that they did it on i don't know i remember finding a copy and it it, they said that it, even that copy when it was remastered wasn't fixed. So anyway, it's got a little, his voice sounds a little higher on there. The best of Billy Squire, you know, this is what I had for the longest time. Now I have most of his stuff on vinyl. Uh, but this was a good greatest hits album to have. Bjorn Stixon, A New Beginning. This is the most recent. Bjorn Stixon, European, uh, I mean, you know, he's a Swedish guitar player. He's really a guitar player. On this one, he sings. Um... From Leviticus, he's done a lot of stuff. You know, he's mostly the guy from Leviticus. He's done some stuff with XT, another band he's done. Um, so I love a lot of his work. This is kind of him. It's a little slower, a little more mellow, and he's singing, and it sounds a lot different than anything else he's done before, including his first solo album, Together With Friends. This was recently reissued on vinyl. I have shown that. This is the original CD on uh, the import from uh, Royal Music. And, yeah, great stuff, great stuff. It's got a lot of di different guest singers on that. That's it. I'm going to be done. I'm stopping now. Sorry if I rattled so fast. I'll do the next set of bees next time. I think there's not that many more bees, but I could be wrong. I have to pull them all out. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will be back. Rock on and rock hard.